my channel. Hello. This is my mom. <laughs> so today we're doing uh, skincare and makeup tips for women over 50. And I mentioned this in the skincare video that we just filmed, uh, but this kind of falls in line with, not just kind of, this definitely falls in line with what my company is about, which is tailored comprehensive 360 uh, tips, regimen building, etc., coaching, consultations, etc., um, regarding makeup and skincare. So uh, I'm basically giving you what I feel like a lot of people need, which is answers and me asking a lot of questions to give you the best possible answers. So we addressed a lot of the skincare concerns in the skincare video, and then now we're going to tackle makeup. So if you are interested in seeing how a potential consultation could go, or just interested in seeing how this conversation goes, stay tuned. Hannah. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. Just to let you guys know, I am 65, and I wear makeup every day. If nothing else, I have on um, this cushion compact thing. I wear eyeliner, I wear lipstick, and I wear brow pencil, even in the house, okay? Um, but when I go out, I have the eyeshadow on and everything, you know, you know I don't want to look like a clown and I'm not interested in transfer of the eyeliner the down here going up here because my lids aren't as taut as they once were. So I've asked Sarah to help me with this. And I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there that are in um, like the 50 to 70 range that, hey, you know, Sarah's 30, she looks great. How about someone like me? You know, what can you do for me, Sarah? Yeah. And so that's why I'm here. I'm, <laughs> I'm bare face. I have this thing back in my hair, my headband <laughs> on, and she's gonna work her magic and show me how to do it. And then she's gonna, um, print it all out and send it to me, which is really helpful. You ever go to um, a counter and they tell you how to do all this stuff and you know, you're thinking about one thing and she's three sentences or maybe a paragraph ahead and then like, crap, what was I supposed to do with that? Well, by her doing this PDF, by offering that service, we're gonna have all that right in front of us. You know, uh, and that's what I need. So, here we go. All right. Real quick. Talk about your skin. Like uh, makeup wise. Okay. Like what uh, do you use? And do you uh, like it? I what? use Chanel. Um, I don't have my reading glasses on, so she's gonna have to read for me. Vital Lumiere, uh, the Moisture Rich Radiance Sunscreen Fluid Makeup SPF 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and your cushion. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on these two? Um, sometimes it's just this. Yeah, okay. same. Some, she said sometimes it's just the Amore Pacific Compact. Right. Because this is uh, Urine Shade 104. This is SPF 50, for those who don't know. Um, so this is a cushion that is color correcting and it's your broad spectrum SPF. Um, and it's got bamboo sap in it to help plump the skin so it doesn't settle in fine lines. Okay, so when I'm doing my makeup, I start out with my Touche Clot um, concealer and I put that under my eyes. That's the first thing you do? Oh, um, with makeup? Do you do, do you do your like the cushion and the foundation first or the tissue cloth first? Tissue cloth first. Okay. Why? I just had curiosity. Um because I figure like it's gonna cover it a little bit. Okay. Um then I do my brows. Okay. Um and I do um I have eyeliner, I'm not, sorry, eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And that's there it is, it's over there. Here's my precious Sarah. Um, naked right now. I have a lot of these palettes. I'm not packing all this stuff up. So I figure she wants to see something different. She's got tons of it. Um, and then, let's see here. And every once in a while I do, I put a little bit of this on my nose. I put it like right here. The right there. Mm -hmm. Now what does it Mm-hmm. Put like one here and one there. I got you. Just to give it that little. The little block. stick thing from Benefit. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got a brown chubby eyeliner. Um. And then, the, as far as eyeliner um, is concerned, I have. Yeah. That's for my she lower lids. She's the Anastasia soft brown. What's for the lower lids? What? Um, eyeliner. This one is. Oh, the brown chubby stick? Okay. Yeah, that's for the upper lids. Which is the... 
stapled. Where is this from? I get, remember that lash place we used to go to when I'd come down? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Still? Yeah. Damn. Lash Densifying, <laughs> lash densifying <laughs> Liquid Eyeliner in Classic Black. Extreme Lashes by Joe Muselli. Mm -hmm. And then there is the Lash Bomb Explosive Growth Serum with Keratin. Yep. I use that at morning and night. Then you get the Full Fat Lashes Five Star Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. And the Sumptuous Extreme Lash Molds Plain Volume Mascara. Okay, so quick question. You've got... I don't use them all. Okay. At one time. Okay. That's just nuts. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I guess I don't put them on your top lashes. So. Uh-uh. Okay, cool. It's a waste. Okay. And then we've got the Naked Flushed Palette. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, and so, okay. Regarding your makeup routine, what are you... What are you happy with and like what do you want to change just so i know what i'm specifically trying to turn oh, i like the blush it's not too much it's not too little it's just fine for me okay you um, like color mm -hmm. and you like your application method yeah just with my brush i just a okay. little bit a little bit okay. you know so that would leave that alone that's good mm -hmm. okay i want to do contour okay that's the big one mm -hmm. okay i want to help this puffiness mm -hmm. okay um make it look smooth okay. mm -hmm. and if there's a um and then yeah okay and then my eyes just I like eyeshadow uh -huh. um, but I don't want to make it look ridiculous you know um, I mean so I love your eyeshadow it looks awesome and I love well you know me I like side color from naked and all that I'm not afraid of that stuff uh -huh. I just don't want transfer so like what's here stays here. What's okay. here stays here. Okay. And when you do your little highlighter and then, you know what I'm saying? I do. Okay. So in terms of the overall look though, the eyeshadow, if we could fix the transfer, mm -hmm. is there like a, I'm curious about maybe trying these colors or I would like to learn how to do this type of look or. Yeah, whatever. You're the expert, honey. Well, I know, but I'm also trying to help you at home when I'm not there. That's the point of this, right? It's like mm -hmm. when I'm not here, so you feel confident and capable mm -hmm. of executing it. So, okay. I really would like to try, insert any eye look, you know? Whatever mm -hmm. whatever it is that you would like to look like or whatever. And then you're like, you mentioned wanting to have like open eyes. So do you just want to look like just like bigger eyes? Or is it about having, like what are we trying to emphasize kind of? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bigger eyes, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to be vague. You're fine. Um, but just you know, look the look as great as I can. Okay. So just an it's more it's less a specific piece of your face, and right. more the overall like I want to look bomb. Exactly. Okay, understood. I got you. Okay, cool. Ta da! Woo woo. Okay. Well, you know, because they're ranges. I get answers. I get all kinds of answers. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I understand what you're trying to tell me. You get a hot flash? No. Well, do you need a primer by the way before I go doing this twice? Honey? No. Okay, cool. No. But you did do moisturizer, yes? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do some primer. Mom is getting on a plane later today, so. I am heading home. She is. And she's also going far up in the air, which has an effect on your skin. That's the truth. All right, so obviously in my consultations, since they're virtual, I'm not actually applying makeup to my client. And that's kind of the key difference is I haven't done my mom's makeup in years. Uh, so this is more just because I haven't done it in so long. Um, the point of the... Hang on a second. What's up? You got a hair or something on there? What? You got hair on my plane. Okay. Okay. It's on okay. <laughs> okay. It's going to be like a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... While I won't be doing like actual application, that's kind of the point, right? Because I want you to be able to do it at home to yourself. Like, you, I'm not for hire as a makeup artist anymore. Hashtag back problems. Yeah, 
Yeah, but however, if we've got that PDF, that helps all of us. Oh, that's but that's exactly the point, right? Right. So. I mean, how many of you out there have gone to the, to the counter and, you know, you, you came away with this great look and you're like, well, crap, where, which goes where now? You know, it's almost like you want them to write on like a little carton thing that comes in, a little packaging. But, I'm going to go get a hydrating spray for you. Okay. So take a second. Oh, I'm getting a hydrating spray. This is new. Cheers, folks. Morning coffee. Got some things in mean, some lip pencils, and then I got this contour thing because I just really like I really like how she does her contour. And she looks slimmer and gives you a look to your face. Don't we all want that? I do. Um, and there's this um, eyeshadow Sarah wears sometimes. It's called Jean by Shot October. Um, I really like it. So I like working with. I like messing with eyes like eyeliner and shadows, that sort of stuff. I think you can do so many things with it. But then, also I'm probably gonna have to have something new with my lids. Well, if I need to do it, I'll do it, right? Go to med spa, see what you can do, and then baby steps. Okay, so mom's using the um, Cover FX blue light primer thing, and it's not, it's not really good for her skin. It's not great for her skin. So instead, or to kind of boost it since I've already got, already got it on her. I'm gonna use the Botanical Radiance Oil from Amore Pacific because it acts as a primer. Use it a little bit. And it gives her radiance. And it's anti-inflammatory. It's got, it's got three forms of green tea in it. So it'll really help her, especially with flying, it'll help her keep hydration in her skin as she goes up Ooh. in the elevation. Do you want me to turn towards you? No, it's okay. okay. But my God, this makes a difference because your skin is like perched. And it'll help calm the texture and everything. So you're going to get the anti-inflammatory, excuse me, you're going to get the anti-inflammatory components and benefits. You're also going to get the hydration radiance and it's a nice little primer so it's a it's a nice multi-function i can't put a lot of in here <laughs> <laughs> you feel like the fact that you can't do something like your body's like restricted <laughs> yeah. do you know what i mean that's what i totally feel, feel like yeah. i don't like doing this Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a treat what can you make that by you. Oh, yay. Because you do such a great job at it. Thank you. This is a fantastic service show. You should take full advantage of this. <laughs> I mean, if she can guide you through, as she does, all of us, whoever she, her, with her clients, and we come out on the looking like fabulous. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. can be you, happy with it. You can your skin. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> nice. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You use a beauty blender or something kind of sponge with this? Or do you use a brush? Uh, no, I use a beauty blender. Here is my. Where is that? Where? 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 Here. I guess I threw you. No, I did not. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep, I keep washing these things. They, they start looking kind of cruddy after them. I gotta get a new one. I've got a new one. Here. Well, like, you're talking about for yourself or for me? No, for me. Oh, okay. Mine's like busted. Oh. You know, you can feel how like, it's like. Oh yeah, it's lost got, all like, of belly fat. Oh. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's what it really feels like. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, you're done. <laughs> but they, they have a good holiday. Yeah. I am not paying for a tummy tuck on you. <laughs> um, but they've got a good holiday kit, so I'm waiting. Oh, there's one coming out? Yeah, from Beauty Blender. Ooh. I like their little cleanser for their brush, their stuff too. I use it on my brushes as well. I clean them once a week. Your brushes? My brushes in this thing. Good. I do, and then let them dry, you're dry. Okay, so I'm using most of her makeup, right? Because I want 
the kind of the point of this is I want you to know what I want you to know how to use what you have. And then as you swap out, you're making educated decisions about what you're swapping out for and not just like, oh, maybe I'll try this one. Um, and notice that she's putting this on before the concealer, so I'm learning something like, hmm. I wear um, lash extensions because I don't, I don't want to have to be checking my eyes for, you know, mascara transfer. And I like it. I get up in the morning, all I got to do is put my brows on, you know. And the neighbors are like, oh, you know, oh, your eyes always look nice. And where I live, the girl who does my lashes, she's happy because she's getting more customer. I'm like, I should be getting some sort of referral. Yeah. They don't do that for you, Bill? Like, they don't have referral? So many people well, get it, whatever? I'm gonna, there's these cards. They don't tell you about them. Yeah. The one girl gave it to me. She goes, haven't we given you any of these before? I said, no. And I'm like, oh. no. Yeah, you yeah. Girl power. Hook it up. I'm the reason you're busy today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Famine mentality. Mm. I feel like I take this every single day. You're gonna notice with me. Especially if you have consultations with me, I talk a lot about supporting other women. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really big deal to me. I really aim for supporting women-owned businesses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But something that bothers me a great deal is what I call the famine mentality, which is I don't want you to be successful because then it takes away from my success. Like there isn't this abundance kind of. There's plenty. There's eight billion people on this planet. We can both be successful. That's right. And we're an incredible network. We just love ourselves to be. Yeah. Also, just like, you don't have to tether yourself to anybody, do no. you, boo-boo? I never go down there with makeup. Really? Mm -mm. Why? I you just don't. I just don't. Never even thought about it. Okay, so I did a lick. Her day is pretty long today. She's flying home. She's gonna see her husband for the first time in like five weeks. So she wants to look good. I want to look fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> she wants to look fabulous. But she also, she needs to be in makeup that'll wear well throughout the day. So if you go too ham and then you look crusty and like a bad drag queen, <laughs> nobody wins. No, thank right? You. Yeah. Like nobody wins. <laughs> um, so we're not doing that. Uh, but what I am going to show you how to do is. You, because you specifically mentioned this, this contour. Do you need to grab my contour or did you, did you buy it? I brought it. Okay, cool. In fact, I was talking about it. Um, oh, it was a complete thing? Yeah, we're there. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Yes. If I see Sarah putting something on when she's doing her makeup and I think, ooh, what's that? that looks interesting. What's that? So I'm like, huh. Norch loves it. What's your answer? So I'm gonna do just a little bit of highlight, just a little bit. I'm not going ham on this, and I'm blending all of this out. You are also gonna see a trick that I do with mature skin folks. Because uh, I did my highlight first. And then, I mean, we're not even talking concealer yet. Oh wait, I can do this quirky thing. I don't do it. I've had like two of these. And no joke, did not know it had an on and off button. See, and they don't tell you. No, they're terrible with that. See, that's why it's so important to see someone like her to it's like, oh, that's how they do it. Oh. Then you don't feel like such an idiot. You know, hey, I bought this. Why are you wasting product? Because like comes like pouring out and you're like, whoa. Yeah, that's not fun either. Also, when you fly, it might explode it on the plane. <gasps> yeah, so I was like, oh sugar, just tapping because so much had gunked up. It was just like tapping on my face for like a month, you know? Uh, yeah, it was awful. Um, but now I know it has an off switch, so my lights are protected from contour. How pissed would I be if I got somewhere and was like, wait, what? Yeah, I especially. Got all over, either that or all over your bag. Bags are too expensive to be ruining them. Okay, so mom specifically talks about like firmness. Mm -hmm. So you want to use shade and light, which like sounds easy. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like photography. 
you create shade and light. So I'm going from her ears down. And I'm not doing a ton, I'm just doing kind of a little bit because I can always add more. And then I take from her ear down her jawline and then I can kind of tweak. But I'm going underneath her chin because I want to shade that. And then I can pull that down to where everything looks sculpted and cohesive. I'm excited. And we're gonna have this on YouTube so I can go back to it. You know, like, okay, what was that again? And I had the PDF, I'm like, oh, I'm cooking with gas. Okay, so some tricks. When you're doing your concealer, especially if we're looking for an elliptic, like an elliptic look, my highlighter for her is placed really strategically because it's my start and stop almost. I'm blending all of this together. She's not gonna look shimmery, she's gonna look really lifted. Women hormonally are more red around the mouth and around the nose. So you always want to get a little bit more coverage there. And then when you wipe your nose, touch up. Because otherwise you almost look like you have like a, like you're starting to get a cold sometimes. <laughs> you know, especially if you're traveling because of all the stuff going on, right? Mm -hmm. So mom looks a little bit like she's auditioning for the Lion King of Broadway. That's okay. We blend it out. You'll also notice I still have a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. That is my like mixing medium. I have brushes too. Yeah, but this is all cream, so I use a sponge. Okay. Okay, so if we were using like way more makeup, I'd use a brush. Okay. Because you're doing light layers, the sponge is fine. Okay. So when you're blending your contour, you want to blend up because that lifts the face. And also make sure that you look like seamless and not like lady stop here <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so with the neck I say like blend up so with the neck you want to kind of start like you'll notice I blend out by her ear just so it looks really seamless but then you want to kind of blend up so you go back and then you kind of press it just don't like Oh, like mm -hmm. you want to look really, you want to just make sure everything's smooth. You'd rather have less contour than more contour and look like the dirt on your face. I see that all the time. We saw that in Nordstrom the other day. Yes, we did. It's very common. And then if you feel like you're like, oh, I still, I don't see it. You can add more. But it's so much better to add more than to be like, oh my God, what do I do with this? <laughs> I have contour on my boobs now, <laughs> and I have a turtleneck on. And that's another thing, you know, when you're putting your makeup on, don't have your blouse, especially don't have anything like, I'm wearing something totally different. So I'm like, mm, no, I don't want to be wearing this stuff. Every once in a while I'm like, I'll have lipstick or something because I pulled the top over my face. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. Okay. So as I blend out the eye, you kind of, I think you might be able to see, I'll zoom in in the editing, but you can kind of see that I was really strategic with that highlight because as the light hits her, she just looks super hydrated. She doesn't look like she has highlighter on. She looks like she takes amazing care of her skin and she's properly hydrated. That is the biggest misconception. If you, if you like the look of like moonbeam levels of highlighter, Godspeed. If you don't, you don't have to have that. So it's just an application technique. So if you don't like highlighter necessarily, but you like that glowy, radiant look, and you think highlighter is like, you know, kind of your best option for achieving it, put it underneath and blend it out. So put it underneath the uh, makeup? Is that what you're saying? When yeah, you say like underneath? your highlighter's already on. Yeah. And I haven't said you yet. Like, I don't wear highlighter. Um, because my skin's 
really combo and I get glowy anyway and I don't like the look of like unless I'm on a photo shoot or like you know in a super climate controlled environment or something then it's like and it's for the look or whatever that's one thing but everyday life no so you'll kind of notice that the point of this is to give a really natural sculpted look to the face so her whole point is I want to look really good I want to look fantastic fabulous right mm -hmm. so you're doing a full face of makeup, but you're doing it in a way that just everything is literally blended together. So it's one, it, it eventually kind of molds together in one layer, right? Like melts together. So it'll age together. So you don't look choppy, muddled, or too heavily done. So it's what she says about like, I don't want to look ridiculous. That's an application method. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not, Oh, I can't use this product. It's, I just have to apply it this way. Do you have bronzer? I do. Okay, great. It is there. Fabulous. And I guess that's whatever that is. The center yeah. thing. Uh huh. I'm gonna blend out around the nose with whatever was left over on my hand, because again, hormonally or flushed around the nose and the mouth. So I always kind of put a little bit there and I buff it out. Yeah, cool. Do you set your makeup normally? Mm -hmm. Music set up? Mm -mm. I should though, right? Um, I mean, I will today. Okay. Video. I'm just gonna go grab mine. And what do you use? I use the Charlotte Tilbury one. Okay. I can't see what I look like. That camera's too far away. Do you want a chair so you can sit down a smidge? I'm actually, I'm actually trying to okay. Are you? Okay. And this is setting powder? Yeah. Okay. Setting and brightening. Setting and brightening? Yeah. Okay. So I am just going to get really strategic with you. So I'm going to set like this section of your face, people call it triangle, people call it general, like geometrical shapes, kind of depending on, yeah. depending on the effect you're trying to do. I'm going to set you down here, and then I always set the corners of the mouth, because otherwise, you look like the Joko with your lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> notice I'm not like passing, like mm -mm. pressing it into the skin but I'm not pressing a massive amount of powder in the skin I'm just kind of dispersing it and then I press it that way it locks onto the makeup and actually does its job okay she has specifically mentioned transfer often mm -hmm. how do your eyelids Close your eyes. if you have lash extensions you can very easily just comb your eyelashes I do this every day um, to get that powder out it is not hard but it makes a massive difference. It's basically primer. If you put foundation and then powder your eyelids, you've got primer. Now, do you, what? did you put foundation on my eyelids? I put a little concealer on. Okay. So there's something for it to adhere to. Yep. Okay. Basically, yeah. Because the light's better. All right. Turn mm -hmm. with me. Sure. Perfection. Oh my God, what a difference. And if you do this, you see how I kind of like rain some powder on our face? That is totally fine. Don't freak out. It's actually helpful because it sets where I need it to set anyway. So it's a nice little, like, I'm in a rush pack. Messy doesn't mean you made a mistake. Messy actually is how a lot of us did makeup before Instagram. We had to like care about placement. Okay, so you're gonna tell I've got some visible powder still on her. That's okay, mainly under the eye. It's not that bad, um, but you can still see a little bit. That's okay. That is actually gonna help brighten. And then I'll dust off at the end, whatever we've got left over. And that way, it's doing its job as best as possible. All right, so this is your bronzer brush? It is. Okay, so she's- Oh, wait a minute. That's my blush oh, brush. brush. Okay. okay, so you wanna use one of these. Okay, so mom uses the Naked Flushed palette. 
And then for your bronzer, we use fan brush, like I always do. If you've been following me for a long time, you know this. So one of the major reasons why I like a fan brush for bronzer is because it's such a narrow brush that you don't get that stamp on the side of your face. Mm -hmm. And because it's such a wide brush, you can actually cover a ton of area. So if you're trying to warm up your neck, because our necks are always lighter than our faces because they're further in, they get constant shade, you wanna kind of warm up your neck. That's why I take makeup down the neck, that's why I take bronzer down the neck. You wanna be a cohesive look, right? So a fan brush is a really quick way to achieve that without looking heavy. And because I have a, like a large fan brush for myself, but for her or for a lot of people that are nervous about it, a normal fan brush is actually great because you can build it up until you get comfortable. And then you can be strategic. So if you want, as she puts, she wants that lifted kind of firm look. So with makeup, you can do that. And then like no other brush can get this detailed, right? And really chisel that jawline out. But when you look straight at it, it looks like cheekbone and not like, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody talks about that three. So if you wanted to do a three, it is the easiest brush in the world to do a three with. So I always warm up the nose because otherwise it looks like you skip the space. And then if you have texture on the nose or if you feel like you can see your makeup, use your finger. The warmth of your hand actually helps melt the makeup into your skin. And if you need to like reapply, reapply. It's okay. My turn? Yes, please. Thank you. When was the last time you did your makeup? When was the last time you did my makeup? Yeah. I know, right? It's been a long time. Yeah. I, I don't think I lived in Texas yet. That was oh no, you definitely did. At least six years ago. It might have been when you lived in Downingtown. Oh my god. Yeah, seriously, Jesus. you know, you would come over. Do my laundry? Mm -hmm. Okay. So look at this. God, I hope you can see this in this. The radiance off of her skin because of how we did her base. Like, I call it her base, not like her foundation. But that blend of everything, she looks luminous in real life. Like, straight up glowing. But it doesn't look like homegirl like dipped her face in like glow powder. She just looks great. Great. That makes me very happy. And then a nice hack is take your bronzer into your crease. Um, so mom specifically mentioned the like drooping eyelids basically. Uh, so a really good way to kind of counteract that is to raise your crease. So you'll notice mom's crease technically starts here. I started it up here. And then when she opens her eyes, she looks more lifted. So she gets the effect she wants without looking crazy. Or looking like, you know, you don't know what you're doing with makeup. And then you can, like, a real, if you really want to go down a fun rabbit hole, look at uh, how they used to do makeup and on the, like in the 50s, back before they had like high def cameras. Uh, specifically, look at like Sophia Loren, look at Marilyn Monroe, the unedited pictures, um, because they would literally stop their eye up here and drag it out. So Sophia's cat eye would stop like here and they drag it out to here. And that's why she had that really intense eye shape. And it looks so unique. It's because it was completely manufactured and you just can't pick it up on camera. So techniques from that you can update for like modern photography and whatnot. And that way you get that lifted look, but you don't have that weird white space on the outside of your eye like Sophia did, but nobody could tell. Marlena Dietrich's another one that's really interesting because they actually invented a lighting technique for her face called the butterfly effect. Uh, mm. So if you watch some of her movies, the way they lit her face uh, was specific to her. So a lot of uh, con like original for film contouring techniques mimicked 
that lighting style because it would contour her face with light. It was, it's so interesting. I'm just gonna lift this a little bit more because we wanna look, make her look. This one. Mom's lost a little weight while she was here. We want to enhance that. Queso. He's gonna lose weight on queso. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but it's busy. Okay, and I'm gonna hit you in the back here mm -hmm. just so you don't have that like kind of pale spot that everybody has. I know your hair is gonna be down, but just in case wind hits it, mm -hmm. I think about that kind of stuff. You know, I don't like it when when you can see the seams of people's makeup. Mm -hmm. So if you, like my, I have a ton of hair, so I don't worry about it because my hair just weighs a lot. But for mom who has shorter hair, if wind hits her and somebody sees something, it's like, I don't want her to have to deal with that. So that's just me being me. All right, so then, We've got a little bit of glow already in the in your eye, but we're gonna enhance that. So, wow, the naked palette. Oh, gee. I'm gonna take Virgin, which is all the way over here. And I'm just gonna press it right into her corner. I like it up and I like it down. So you wanna kind of wiggle it around in that corner. And open for me. The reason being, because it wakes you up. So if you take it a little lower, and then you press it right in. You can open it. Nice. Right in there. Kind of stop it where the lashes start. It wakes up that inner corner that as we age, just looks super tired, right? Like everybody has that. Um, that's just how it goes. And even if you have filler there or anything, you still have that because you're a human being with like veins and blood vessels and everything. So it's just a really nice way really quickly to wake you up. <laughs> Even Adelaide agrees. <laughs> do her eyebrows. Oh, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're not. Hey, hey, here, here. Here's the other one. Okay. Hang on a second. There you go. So, see, it's just like cutting corners. <laughs> 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 Which one are we using? Does it matter? The brow um, defined or the skinny one? You can use it. Use um, either one. Sometimes this one's a little easier, like because you're filling in, you're making it a little more, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. because you've got lash extensions, you really don't need. Like you'd be amazed at how much weight your face shape is pulling on your look. You know, because your lash extensions, the brow, and then the rest of you, like you look good. So in an effort to lift the brow, if you're going to overdraw, overdraw from the top because it literally adds height and it gives separation between the brow and the lid. So it gives you more lid space so you look more lifted. Uh, also, because you've raised the crease, it reinforces that new flow of the eye. You know they say, like, eyebrows are sisters, not twins, or they're cousins. Yeah, okay. Um, they need to look as hella related. Like, they may not be identical twins, they should be fraternal. All right. So then we're gonna do blush, because Mama likes blush. Smile for me. Okay, again, lifted, right? That's the goal. So don't, don't be that person that goes, no, you're being lied to. You've been lied to your whole life. Don't do that. I have her smile, so I know where her apple is. I hit the side of her apple and I work my way up. That's it. And then you want to stay on top of the bronzer. Otherwise, you get this really weird color. And then if you really want cohesion, take a brush, put a little blush on it, and then put that in a crease. 
and that just gives it a little like hmm, it looks real good. Would you have a last year mascara preference of these two? Doesn't lashes. matter. Which one's sponge plus? That one's probably sponge plus. Should I? You get sponges, don't freak out. Let them dry. Take a kitchen. That's it. If anything, it's like a nice little liner look. We're going to let that dry. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to clean up the sponge. I'm also going to break up a little lash clump over there. So everything's copacetic and everything's good. So while, we're, while that's drying, we're going to do lips. Do you have a lip preference? Do I have a lip preference? Color. Um, well, I think I've got red. Do you want to wear red? I don't care. There's another color. I can screw something up. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing you can screw up that I can't fix. Okay. Do you want to use this lip liner? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, go ahead and take a look at these. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know. I told them about it. <laughs> you can like some dark colors. You want to do dark or you want to do more of a red? More of a red. Okay, now let's look at this guy. Actually, I might cocktail these two. Okay. Because this has got like a honey brown shade to it. So this whole parallel thread. Okay, quick question before we get going. Your lip shape, do, we, do you like to modify it? Do you like it as is? What's your style? As is, I think. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> what? I was just thinking about your Pardon? I was thinking about something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time it works around my uh, mouth, <laughs> you get because you have to be still. Uh -huh. You have to. Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. I think so. Okay. <laughs> lip liner and glue. Put it everywhere. It's a cute lipstick on. So, I hang out. I feel like it takes me longer to do lips than a lot of people, and that's really because I am hella OCD about symmetry and about things being as close to mirror image of the size of the face as possible. Um, I want you to look symmetrical. I want you to not, everybody feels like they have a good side. I just don't want you to feel like you have a good side with your makeup. That makes sense. So I do try to mimic, you know. Um, okay, so you have a lipstick preference. That's a red. This is red? Okay, that's a one. Um, a trick that I do with clients is I like to apply it straight from, I mean, unless it's like a bride or something, I like to apply it straight from the tube because that's how you apply it. And you're not carrying on a lip brush. The likelihood of you doing that's pretty low. I'm going to have you go look at your makeup and tell me whatever you want to tweak. I don't have ego when it comes to this. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Just tell me. Because it's your face at the end of the day. What are your thoughts? It, for me, yes. it looks a little made up. Okay, so yeah. the fuse. The huh? fuse the sides. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it just looks a little made up. And then, um, but it's it's a different look for me. That's all. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that is a normal first reaction to contour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay, cool. So let's just diffuse the sides. Okay. Is there a specific part of your face that you specifically are noticing? That you okay, that when I look at my face, uh -huh. it's not the sides, Sarah. What do you? Not. Okay, so what do you? What do you see? This to me, this to me looks a little heavy. The shadow? No, it doesn't look. There is shadow, but it, um, I guess I would want it a little darker or something. I don't know. Um, what looks heavy? The skin? Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And yes. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, I want eyeliner at the top. Okay. Which I mean, I can do that. No worries. And that's it, really. Okay. So you're fine with the rest of your face. It's just that lid thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she mentioned that she feels that her eyelids look a little, um, like the skin looks heavy. So she wants more of a lift. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my dog. Um. So I'm gonna cocktail a couple of colors. I don't wanna use the same bronzer color all over because that's not really gonna give her what she wants. So I'm gonna do a diffusion of a few shades. 
Um, I really strongly recommend if you're doing makeup on yourself and you're like trying something new, use your hand because it breaks off the powder so mm -hmm. you can build up. So she's talking about right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the inner corner with a lighter shade of soft brown. It's technically naked. It's like a taupey neutral. It's really nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna start in there and I'm gonna work it into her original crease and up into the skin so she still has that lifted look. And I'm going to look for me. I'm gonna stop there and have her check. Okay. Pull that out a little bit so you can get some light on you. I wouldn't do any more than that. You like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I used to teach makeup artists a lot. So um, if you do makeup or if you're interested in doing makeup, a really good idea for you. If you have a client that has, um, like you're finished and she noticed, he or she notices something, every modification you make, have them check on, have them make sure. Because what happens is you're usually hitting on something that they're insecure about or that they have like an ism about and you don't want to overcorrect and have to do have to undo all your work. So every single step you should, how about this, how about this? Because it reinforces that you're understanding what they're trying to communicate. Because most people aren't very good at communicating, and this isn't like an insult, it's just how it is. They're not very good at communicating what they see. You know, like they see it so much more dramatic than how you see it, everybody's their own worst critic. So it's really important that you are doing pulse checks every step of the way so that you didn't misunderstand and then it takes up that much more of your time, that much more of their time makes them late, whatever. And literally all I did, so what what she asked for, all I'm doing is buffing a very soft taupe shade into her real crease and up into the like kind of that new crease that I built. Something else worth mentioning. Does it look like I got a shadow here? Or is it just me when I'm seeing it here? Come back here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how you got this and it's nice and it's light. You're here. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, what? Okay, see how that's nice and light? Uh-huh. And you see here? Uh-huh. Do you feel like you see something? I see a shadow. Okay. So am I wrong? Take a look. I see what you're saying. Okay. I see what you're 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 seeing a little bit of blue come through. Oh. Okay. That's what you see. Which is fine. So, let me just fix it. Open for me. So what, basically what you looked at was the most hollow part of your eye. Right. So that is the most prone to show veining and whatnot. Right. right. So that's fine. Not to go over. I don't want to overcorrect. No, that looks nice. Okay, cool. Another piece of advice I give to artists a lot is it is not about you and your ego. Um, so if you have an ego, you might not want to do this for a living because you are basically rewriting somebody's face in the, in the direction that you take it in, right? Like you're, you're redoing their face. So there are a lot of emotions. There's a lot of stuff that kind of comes up where, you know, you, you're kind of a therapist in a, in a lot of regards, but you're also reinterpreting somebody's face and they may or may not like that. And that's totally okay. Cause at the end of the day, it's their face. So anytime they say anything to you about like, oh, I'm not really crazy about this or, oh, can we modify that? Yes, do it. Cause that's their face that they have to live their life in. They're, they're right. Um, now if they have a misunderstanding about like, you know, what something's function is, that's one thing. But the overall look, they're the ultimate decision maker on. So don't ever like, well, you said you wanted this. Just cause they said it doesn't mean they actually know what they said. All right. Yeah, you know, like, well, I thought that's what that meant. How many of you, I mean, literally how many artists, probably every single artist ever has had a client that said something and meant a totally different thing. All right. So. Cause we don't know. Yeah. So just listen, take your personal ego out of it. It has nothing to do with you. That's, I, I said that to so many artists. Okay, what are your thoughts? Happy? Mm hmm Cool. Do you feel good? Yeah. Do you feel confident? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you found some value in it. Uh, thanks so much, Mom, for being in the video. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetie. Uh, if you guys have other video ideas, if there's other things you want some insight on, uh, please leave me a comment below. I'm also going to list my company, my website below as well. So if you guys are interested in having a consultation or having some coaching with me, uh, just 
click the link below. It'll take you right to my site and my site will explain everything to you. You can also email me if you have questions specifically about like uh, the differences between different things um, in terms of like which, which thing to book. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. I kept it as simple as humanly possible because I understand uh, how confusing it can be. So anyway, yeah, I hope so. you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thanks Bye. for joining us. <laughs>